The formula to make a hot rod is a simple one. You take the most powerful engine you can and stuff it into a lightweight package. And I guarantee you, you'll go faster. Over the years, engines like this Authy were designed and built solely for the purpose of going faster. And in just a few moments, we'll see that that same hot rod formula applies to snowmobiles. It's winter in Wisconsin. The lakes are covered in a thick sheet of ice, and the temperatures are well below zero. Perfect conditions to go drag racing snowmobile. <laughs> Folks in the frozen north have been racing their sleds since the 70s. But it was not until 1986 that the racers got together to form the NSSR. Meg Greenhaw, known affectionately as the Dragon Lady, is the president. It's really the grassroots racers. It's the, it's the first time fellas and girls that come out. It's the ability for stock drivers to come out and set records uh, at an entry level. Uh, the second part is probably hammering out the rules and, and, and all the negotiations with the manufacturers each year to, to keep it a level playing field for everybody. That's real interesting. Since taking over the running of NSSR, Meg has restructured the association. Sleds in all classes must run snowmobile engines. For those in the unlimited classes, it means rebuilding from the ground up. In 1989, they voted to go back to snowmobile power plants only. So now we're just going through that real rebuilding stage where the drivers are able to start building these unlimited machines. And you're going to see the first one out here today, which is the Budweiser Snow King. Paul Growth is piloting the new Budweiser Snow King. Although he has fond memories of his Chevy-powered sled, he looks forward to the challenge of setting new records in his Yamaha-powered sled. We're running boat motors, motorcycle engines, car engines. If we're going to run snowmobiles, I guess that's what we got to run. Making and breaking records is largely dependent on the state of the track, which more often than not is a frozen lake. Small temperature changes not only affect the surface of the lake, but can pose a safety hazard. Will the whole return lane hold this okay? I'm going to check that now. Yeah, go all down the return lane. Go down the return down lane it, this way. And <laughs> go down the return lane this way and come back in Make and sure see if he can cross over. The course normally is 100 foot wide and a mile long. Uh, the timing traps are at 1,000 feet. They have a span of 132 feet between the lights. And so it's a 1,000 foot standing start that they're running. And then they have 3 quarters of a, a mile shutdown. Uh, some of the sleds need that, some of the sleds don't. And it's, we take the ice surface, we plow it first, and then we shave it with a, an ice shaver that we take with us. And we had to shave this track for three days straight to get it as level as we've got it today. Tommy Zeller has broken more records than any other racer. This year, he will be hoping to set more in the two classes he's competing in. It takes a lot of shop time. You have to be pretty meticulous with the sled. We have a very good wrench working with us right now, and he's helping us out a lot. Much of Tommy's success can be attributed to Marlon Engler. Marlon has been building record-breaking sleds since the 70s. This year, he will be racing for the first time in the improved stock class. It's a, a Skidoo Moxie 1993 model, and it's awesome. It's uh, the highest improved stock snowmobile I've ever seen, let alone ridden. The toughest competition is in the pro stock class. As it is less expensive to run than the other classes, it draws the largest number of entrants. Well, I'd like to uh, get back into unlimited or bigger sleds again, but right now I got no sponsor, so it's uh, pro stock's a lot more reasonable racing. Marv has already set a world record in his 1993 storm. The biggest threat to that record will come from Kathy Anderson, who is also racing in super stock and improved stock. This year, so far I've got two world records on two of the machines, and I would like to get all, you know, three world records on all three. with a great run, that first run of Pro Stock. She's tying the world record of Barb Jorgensen at 132.515. She's got enough to back it up. Although winning is serious business, snowmobile drag racing is still in its infancy. 
The easygoing, relaxed atmosphere of the event is a reminder of why these people venture out into the pristine wilderness in the dead of winter. The people, the friends that I've made. And winning. <laughs> I like winning. It's a disease. You can't cure it. It's in your blood, you know. You just keep racing after you start. You, you never quit. When we come back, once a year, the thunder of NASCAR racing is replaced with the echoing voices of auctioneers, the smooth purring of classic cars, and the joy of shopping a swap meet. It's the auto fair at the Charlotte Motor Speedway.